right. God bless you. You great people of God. You that very us on YouTube. God bless your hearts real good. Want you to get your Bible. Get your Bible. As we talk about praising God in the dance. Praising God in the dance. Praise dancers. Let, let, let's, let's, let's deal with that. Praise dancers. Hallelujah. Praise dancers. All right. Get your Bible. Get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles. We're going to get ready and uh, go on, crank up our Facebook audience. Hallelujah. Let's get this started right now. As you get your Bible, we greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. We greet you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So get your Bible. Let's see. Get your Bible now. As we get ready to deal with this. All right, you can come in. You can come in. Get your Bibles. You on YouTube? Get your Bibles. We're on Facebook. YouTube. We're on Facebook. Our Facebook address is L D R L Dunlap Jr. Woo. We're on YouTube. <clears throat> First lady, Sister Wilkins, uh, Sister Robinson, come in. Sister White, come in. Come on. Trying to clear this camera up here. I don't know why this camera is fuzzy on Facebook. I mean, on uh, YouTube. Come on in and we, and we work on your praise dancers. Praise dancers. Praise dancers. Come on in. Come on in. All right, come in, come in, get your Bibles. YouTube, get your Bibles. Facebook, get your Bibles. God bless you, uh, Sister uh, Wilkins. Hallelujah. Sister White, all you that viewing, get your Bibles. This was mentioned on one of my posts. What about praise dancers? Praise dancers, rather. Let's deal with that. And do God accept praise dancers? Let's deal with that. Let's deal with that. And we want to go to the scripture. We want to go to the scripture. Praise dancing. Praise dancers. What, what do, do God accept that? Yeah, well, that depends. That depends. Get your Bibles. Let's not be long time. Get your Bible and go to 2 Samuel, the 6th chapter. 2 Samuel, the 6th chapter. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles. Second Samuel, the sixth chapter. Do God accept pray dancers? Pray that. Let's read this scripture. We're going to come. We're going to, we're going to deal with that. That that depends. But first, let's deal with this story. Go to Second Samuel, the sixth chapter. And the 14th verse, let's dispel a myth first. Let's uncover a religious lie that's been told for years. St. David danced out of his clothes. David was naked. He danced out of his clothes. Let's dispel that myth 
and that lie right now. Right now. You know you don't come for God in the kind of way. Ha ha, ha ha, uh -huh. Now, in 2 Samuel, <clears throat> the 6th chapter and the 14th verse, read with us, David did not dance out of his clothes. David was not dancing but naked. You hear me, YouTube? Hear me, Facebook? David was not naked or nude. Let's prove that with scripture. We heard that lie told for years. We heard that error told for years. They, they didn't know because they never studied. Let's read. 2 Samuel uh, 2 and 14. Get, get all your little praise dancers together. All your little praise dancers. Get them together. Your pray dance leader, you know your mind. You know I can't do it. <laughs> you know then they twirl around and oh my God, let 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 deal with that. But first, let go to the scripture in Second Samuel the sixth chapter and the fourteenth verse. And David danced with, read with the, and David danced before the Lord with all his might. As David danced before the Lord, before the Lord, that's the key, before the Lord, before the Lord, before the Lord, before the Lord. He danced before the Lord, meaning he was dancing to the Lord. His praise was going to the Lord, not to entertain you. It wasn't for, it wasn't no entertainment. It wasn't no contest. It was to the Lord. Now, whether you're dancing before the Lord or dancing to the Lord, God know your heart, and you know your heart too. You know what you dance before the Lord. If you dance before the Lord, you ain't dancing to be seen. Uh oh. If you dance, if you dance before the Lord, you ain't dancing to be seen or to be applauded by man, huh? Or at the command of man. Let's read the scripture. Then I'm gonna go and start meddling. Dance, David danced before the Lord with all his might. Read, and David was girded with a linen ephah. That means he wasn't naked. He was not naked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He was not naked. I don't know where they got that from. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, with all his might. David did with all his might. It's a all his might. It wasn't none of them cute dancing. It wasn't none of them cute dancing with all his might. And with the sound of the trumpet. Hmm? And with the sound of the trumpet. Music playing too. You know when you play your music and you play your instruments, you ought to be playing them to the Lord. You skillful on the keys, on that hammer, B3 organ, and beating the drum, and the bass drum, and the guitar, and the flute, and the psalter, and the harp, and all that kind of thing, you doing it to please God. All your playing, all your beating the drum and tamarind and all that kind of thing, you're sending that up to God. And God accepts that if you send it up to Him. But if you're doing it to get applause of men, or to please men, or to get on Facebook, that's not to God. Yeah, somebody might put you on Facebook and you don't even know it. That's not the God. I, I've been in church all my life. <laughs> Woo! I've seen folks dance and praise God until they can't do it no more. They have to sit down. 
called a tie. You you know you know. Come come here come here you come here come here you all you all say come here come here. You say if in the Holy Ghost you won't get tied. Who told you that lie? My old chief. If in the Holy Ghost you won't get tied, that lets you know it ain't the Holy Ghost. It don't have to be the Holy Ghost for you to dance. You don't need the Holy Ghost to dance. You don't need to feel nothing to dance. So I ain't gonna move and let the Holy Ghost touch me. The Holy Ghost they gotta touch you. You ought to have sense enough to praise God. You ought to have enough sense, good sense, to praise God. My with you, you don't need no Holy Ghost. My with you, you don't need to feel nothing. You don't need no music to praise God. Let let God read. Let God read. Then I'm come back and mail. And as the ark, he was, they were praising God because the ark had came back <laughs> in his rightful place, which meaning God is back. You know, you didn't have knowledge of the scripture. Which meaning God is back. The glory is back. There's a reason to pray God. What? Once the glory get back and I touch it, once the false prophet get out of our churches and the preacher and the pastor start back to preach the whole truth, talking about dancing, you're going to see some dancing. <laughs> stop, Dalab, stop. Carry more. And when the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal saw his daughter look through the window. She, she looked through the window. She should be minding her business. She looked through the window and saw King David leaping. He, he was jumping. He was leaping. He was leaping. No, he would pray with all his might. He was leaping. Ain't no telling how high David was leaping. Ain't no telling how high he was leaping and jumping. Ain't no telling how high. And dancing before the Lord. Before the Lord. This was to the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. Now, let's go here. Go to 1 Chronicles 15, 27. We're going to deal with praise dancing. Yeah, yeah, we're going to deal with them. We're going to deal with them. We're going to point out some things. Some things out of we're going to point it out. Okay, 1 Chronicles. Uh, 15. Read with us. And read with us, YouTube. YouTube, read with us. 1 Chronicles 15. Let's begin. Let me just kind of set the stage in context. When the ark came back, let's begin with uh, 15 and 1. And David made him houses in the city of David and prepared a place for the ark of God and pitched for it a tent. Uh, And the fourth verse, and David the seventh tier of Aaron and the and of the Levites. Uh, twelfth verse, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark. If you ain't sanctified, God don't accept you. If you ain't sanctified, don't you come near God. Don't play, don't play with God. That's a message right there. You gotta sanctify yourself in order to handle that all. Two men died. Two men or one man died. They thought I was gonna fall over. He ran and touched it. He they dropped dead. Sanctify yourself. Huh? Let me see. Let me just kind of uh 
for because watch it for because you did it not at first, you didn't do right at first. Bring it all. The Lord our God made a breach upon us for that we saw Him not. After the due order, we are doing it all. And the priest and Levite sanctified themselves to bring the ark of the Lord God of Israel. They didn't do right before, and that man died. All right. And David spake unto a chief of the Levites, said, A point of their brethren, singers, get your singers now, your instruments, your psalter, your harp, your cymbals, the sounding, by lifting up the voice with joy. Got to get all that together now. Now. Oh. Uh, and David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. And all the Levites that bad ark and the singers and the uh 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 the master of song and of singer, you know, you know the, you know the, the, you know the choir, you know the choir director. Mm. The master of song with singer David also had upon him, also had an ephod of linen. Of linen. Did all you the broad dark of the company of the Lord shout with the sound of the cornet, trumpet, cymbal, making noise and song. Praising God with the music and all that. You that play music, do it to God. God receive it. Do it to him. He worried of it. Huh? And it came past, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to us here, David, that Michelle, the daughter of Saul, looking out the window and saw the king dancing and playing, she despised him with her heart. Now, watch this. Be, be very careful. Go back to first case. I need to. I need to. Mmm. Was that first case? I need to. To, I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, ooh. I want to go back to the written script. I need to show you something out of here. Second, Second Samuel six. Go back to 2 Samuel 6. I need to show you something. Remember the woman that that uh, Saul's daughter that go speak down to David because of him dancing and all that. Let me show you something happened to her. 2 Samuel what I say 16. Something happened to her. Watch it. Watch it. Did I say second time 16? Oh, no. What did I what did I say? Second time is six. Watch this. Dr. Seal. Watch this. The same woman that looked out the window. It gonna speak. It always like you ain't acting like no king. Look what, look what happened to her. Well, look what David said to her. David said to Mishael, it was before the Lord that told me before thy father. And behold, all the hours appointed me rule over the people of the Lord. Over here, therefore, I will play before the Lord. The Lord appointed me. And I'm going to bless him. I'm going to pray and give him praise and glory. And I will yet be more vile than thus. You ain't saw nothing yet. And we'll be based in my own sight by me being the king. That don't stop me from praising God with all my might. And of the maidens, servant, which thou hast spoken of, and of them shall I be had in honor. The, 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 the maiden and stuff, they're going to see me with honor. Watch this. Therefore, the same woman that made fun of David and spoke ill of him praising God 
Can you get that? Speak it ill, somebody praise God. Therefore, Michelle, the daughter of Saul, had no child until the day of her death. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. She got punished. Speaking against David, praise God. Be careful. Now, let's go here and, 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 and then we're going to come in and mail a little bit. Go to Exodus 28. Exodus 28. No, we say David was not naked. What he had on, he fought. Watch this. Watch this. 284. Exodus 284. And these are the garments which, shall, which they shall make. A breastplate and an ephod and a robe and a broader coat. A mitre or girdle. They shall make holy garments for Abraham thy brother. Go down to the sixth verse. And they shall make the ephod of gold, the blue and purple and scarlet, and twine and fine Twine linen with cunning work. David had on the twine linen he fought. He was not naked. Now, praise dancers. What about praise dancers? If they dance and give it praise to God, God accepted. I got one question and one observation. Why you paint your face white? What's that white paint for on your face? What is that for? Hear me, hear me, hear me, Minister Combs. What? Are you in relation to Sean Puffy Combs, Minister Combs? Are you related to Sean P. Diddy, Puffy Combs? Y'all got the same last name. But, uh, praise dance. What is that white paint on your face for? What's that for? What's that for? What is that for? That's not for God. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. That's not for God. That white paint, paint your face white is not giving glory to God. That's decoration for the people. Get that white paint off your face. And praise God. All right. All right. You don't pray God on singly. You got the you got the dresses on and you're twirling around and you ain't you 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 you're ballet. Your under your undergarment showing you twirling around. Loose here. You out of order. Mm-hmm. That's out of order. I was at a funeral one time and it prayed dancer. It was a shame. You know, she prayed that I mean she twirling around and going on and you know, I mean twirling and, and dress coming up and you see her white, her white drawers. That's out of order. You ain't praising God. Loose here. Cover yourself up. Get yourself together. It's a way you praise God. Someone told me one time there was some praise dancer came and they, I mean, they just, uh, they just are going to gyrate and they, they breasts and stuff jumping all up and everything. You're out of order. You're out of order. Around on men and everything. Some of you, some of you don't mean no harm, but need to be taught. You don't praise God in the dance and have folk thinking. You know, listen out for you. <laughs> okay, I got some. I got some milk. You don't do that. It's a way to do it. Pray, dancer. Hey, pray. Ain't no certain pray, dancers. Anybody can praise God. Here's another. If you want to pray God in the dance when you get to church, something wrong with that. If you're really praising God and giving glory to God, you pray God in your home, in the dance, in your home. You pray God in the dance, in your home. When ain't nobody looking, when you ain't at church. You don't know what you get to church. Huh? What's the, what's the, what's the mind for? You, you ain't devil, you ain't dumb. What's that about? 
That's entertaining. Well, you may have deaf and dumb people. Okay, you got deaf and dumb people, do sign language. If you got deaf and dumb people, do sign language. <laughs> okay, for you Nick Pickles, I wasn't throwing no gang sign or Mason sign. Somebody told me that one time. If, if, if you wave the flag, if you wave the flag to God, if you're doing it to God, and not for entertainment, if you're doing it to God, if you're doing it to God now, it must be done to God. All that form of prayer, but it must be done to God. God know your heart. You know your heart too. You know what you're doing to God or what you're doing it for entertainment. If you are before the before the congregation and the congregation that the congregation that's sitting there looking at you and watching you, you are entertaining them. You are entertaining the church members. Now, God know your heart. In your heart, you can be literally giving God the glory, and God know your heart. Okay. No entertainment. It's to God. You pray God in a dance at home. Mm -hmm. You 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 know you pray God in a dance. Pray dancers. If it's done to God and you don't do any kind of way to God, you don't be dancing like you in the club to God. Uh huh. Doctor Price. Praise dancers. If it if if the praise dancers are from a pure heart praising God and not entertaining the crowd, God accept it. Now let's go while I'm out here. <laughs> you all have sense enough to praise God. Well, you playing music, whatever. But know this, if you are not living the way God commanded you to live, if you're not worshiping him in spirit and in truth, living the way he told you to live, obeying his word, all your praise is in vain. Every bit of it is in vain. All of it, bro. Time. All of it. I, I was looking at a video this morning. I mean, a guy jumped over the jump, jump, jumped over the table. <laughs> all kind of stuff. Get up and dance on the table. And all kind of, all kind of stuff. Yes. Dancing to God is not entertainment for Facebook. Praise break is not entertainment for Facebook unless you're doing it for Facebook. See, real praise, you don't look, no, you pray God by real praise, you praise him by yourself. You praise him by yourself. My with you. <laughs> praise dance. God know the heart if you if you give it glory to God, if you lift and praise to God. See. David then before the Lord, he was praising God. He wasn't praising nobody else. He wasn't entertaining nobody. He was praising God. And, 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 and later, you gotta be dressed right. You you be go, you, you ain't praising God, twisting, twisting and turning like you in the alley, Alvin Ailey dance troupe, and your dress coming all up and folks see your underwear. You ain't praising God. My with you. Put some pants on up under there. Uh-huh. Mm hmm I know, I know. I know. You got these men in the church, these preachers in the church lusting after you. Yeah, they lusting. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. All right. That's enough of that. I, I, didn't, want, I didn't want to do that. But you praise it. Do it from your heart. Do it from your heart. That's enough of that. God bless you. God keep you in prayer. God bless you.